In this video, I'm going to go over how you can actually ship or fulfill the orders that your fans place for your music or merch. And this is something that kind of terrified me before I get into the idea of selling CDs or selling merch and shipping it out myself. Because maybe it's just because I'm a millennial, but I've never had that much experience shipping stuff. Like Amazon returns was essentially the extent of that. So um, I had to learn all this stuff from scratch over the past three or so weeks. I've shipped, I've sent about uh, 60 customers have ordered stuff through my, through my online stores. And I've sent about 90 CDs and a whole bunch of stickers and other merch items along those packages. So a few stages to this. You have to be able to uh, know how to package your items. You have to know how to print labels and ideally how to do them at home and actually pay for those labels so you don't have to stand in line at the post office every single time you have an order. And I'll cover a few other things on the way. So the first aspect to this, um, you need to figure out how you're going to ship your stuff. So. If we're talking about CDs, and if you're wondering how you can make CDs or merch items, um, I'm gonna have two videos linked at the end of this video, or you can check out one of these cards up top. Um, if you're wondering about how to actually make these in the, in the first place or make other merch items. But if we're talking about shipping CDs, the easiest way that I've found through looking up online and talking to people is these things called bubble mailers, and I'll also link in the description for these. Uh, these are pretty cheap. Um, you can buy, I think, well, I'll, I'll just, I'll put it on screen because I don't want to get the number wrong. But it was also linked in the description so you can check a few options out. But essentially, they're just little envelopes. If you've ordered anything through Amazon, this is essentially the same idea. There's these little bubbles inside of it that protect your CD. And I've shipped out you know, a bunch of CDs at this point, and all of them have been perfectly fine. So I found it to be safe. Other people will use boxes, but this is the cheapest way. And the other reason why using a bubble mailer is so good is because it weighs a lot less than like a full box. You don't have to stuff it with packaging and stuff like that. It's small, it's cheap. So all you do, now what I do with my CDs is I, I open them up and I sign in the inside, I throw some stickers inside, and then I put them in the bag. And if this is all the person's gotten, there we go, <laughs> then um, I would just sign my, I, every person that I send a package to, I hand sign a little note saying, thank you very much for your order, at least if they're buying something that I have to ship out. Um, and then I throw it in the bag and seal it. Now, the next part of this is how do you actually print your labels? And so there's a few different ways that you can do this, but I'll show you how I've been doing it. So every time someone places an order for me, I'm selling my things through Thrivecart, but I'm using Shopify as my store platform. And I'll go over some different options later in this video, but I have to be able to, since I'm doing all my fulfillment and, and inventory management through Shopify, I have to put my orders in there. This is what the back end of Shopify looks like. So as you can see, this tracks my inventory for everything. Um, and so every time I place an order, I want to put it in here. But Thrivecart doesn't have a direct integration with Shopify. So every single time I place an order, and I'm going to have to stop my screen share. Every time someone places an order, I have to go in manually, make a new order. So I would just add my CD here. I would add the cost of shipping, and then I would add a discount if the price that the, the person paid is different from what I'm putting on here, like if I'm offering a deal, like I am in my, I'm doing a free plus shipping and handling offer. Um, I would discount things, I would add all the other products, and then I would have to make a new customer. So I'm gonna have to stop my screen for a sec and do create new customer. And then in this point, I would just copy and paste all the information over here and enter it in. And so the reason why I do this, it's not just to keep everything nice and tidy, all that, it, it is very good to have just one place that has all your order history in there. Um, it's also because the shipping platform that I'm using. So what I do is after I put this in, I would do collect payment, mark is paid, because I already, the person already paid for the order. At this point, there's this app that I use called Pirate Ship. <laughs> and what this is, this is a label purchasing software. So it's entirely free and that's why I'm using it. There are other things like ShipStation and Shippo. And even inside of Shopify, there's a built-in uh, shipping thing where you can buy labels at discounted rates. So if you were to print a la if you were to package up your item and go to the post office, you're gonna pay a lot more than if you buy your labels online through a platform like either Shopify or Pirate Ship or ShipStation or Shippo or any of the other ones um, because they get bulk discounts. And Pirate Ship's free and essentially, I don't know how they make money. I'm guessing what they do is they get a really good discount and then basically increase it by 1% and that's what you pay. So they make a tiny sliver off every tra transaction. But it integrates directly with Shopify so I can just click import from Shopify, like for all these other orders, I'll probably have to blur my screen out so I don't disclose anyone's names, but <laughs> um, I would just hit import from Shopify. And then the cool thing with Shopify is since my 
my products all have weights and stuff. So like if I go into Double Thing Science CD, I have the weight of the item here. So whatever the order is, it'll add up all the items and, and you can save different package sizes inside of Pirate Ship. And so it figures out, you know, you can save a certain dimension package, you can save the weights of all the items, and then you can essentially just, it imports your order, it automatically throws in the customer's name and their address, it knows your address, it knows the package type, it knows the weights of all the items. So at that point, you just click a button and it just charges you for the label. And so to ship to something like this, it's been around uh, $3.50 anywhere in the US. If it's closer to me, it's like $3.30. If it's further away, it might be $3.80 to ship a, even an order I think that had five CDs in it. I think it, I think it might have cost $4 because it was in like across the country, um, but fairly cheap if you're using a bubble mailer. So now you might be wondering, well, how do I actually print this thing? So I'm using a, a essentially just a label printer. Um, so I'll put a little screenshot on, on screen so you can see kind of what it looks like. I'll have links in the description as well for the label printer and the labels. Fairly cheap compared to the cost of, um, I mean, if, if you couldn't print them at home, you'd have to go to the post office or whatever and buy your labels there. You might be able to rig something up with a regular printer if they sell special paper for it. The cool thing with the label printer, there's no ink. The ink is essentially in the paper. It's a thermal printer. Um, and so what the way it works on Pirate Ship is after you pay for your label, you can load in like 5, 10, 50, 100 orders at once, pay for them all at once, and click print labels, and it'll just make a big PDF. You send it to your label printer, and then this just prints them all out. You pe peel off the sticker, stick it on the package, and now at that point your order is ready to go bring to the post office. So I realized that some of you might be at the point where you're ready to sell merch, but you might not be at the point where you're ready to go build an entire online store and, and pay for the monthly fee and all that and all the, the technical jazz that goes along with it, having a sales funnel. And there is a free option that you can use to sell merch. And it's actually the sponsor of this video. It's a company called Koji. And the cool thing with Koji is they're not really selling you on anything. It's entirely free to use their platform. They just charge a commission. So you can use Koji for a bunch of things um, like this just looks like a link in bio, right? And that's a big application of it. And again, entirely free, You can all this custom stuff, there's no monthly fee or anything. But what you can also do in Koji is there's all these cool apps that you can use to actually sell your products. And so there's, there's a couple particular ones that I'm gonna go over right now. I'm here in the apps and links section, I'm gonna go to browse Koji app store. And if we look for tops apps, top apps for monetizations, I think they actually have a musician section. Uh, Koji's really big for musicians. Um, the, one of the people involved in the company has is, is been like in the music world for forever. So it's kind of like a central focus in them is supporting things that musicians need. So there's a whole bunch of really cool apps here. You can do giveaways, ask many things. You can link to music. You can do shout outs. People can pay you for those shout outs. You can sell digital music. You can sell digital videos. You can give away free stuff. Um, but we're gonna look at a couple things. One of them being sell physical products. So this is an app here, and let's check out the preview. Stickers for sale. So this is what it would look like if someone clicked on one of those buttons on your on your link in bio from Koji. It would take you to this, and it's just stickers for sale. One dollar funny stickers, a picture of the item, and buy now. And then at this point, person fills out their contact delivery info. And then when you go to the next screen, they'll essentially just pay for it. Right? And so this gives you a direct way to sell your stuff without having to pay for Shopify or having to pay for a website. And it's also directly in your link in bio. Like a person's not going to a different site. They click the link in your bio on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, whatever platform it is. And just inside of that single page, this little app pops up and they can do everything right there. And then on the other end of Koji, you'll be able to access all this information that you can then enter in something like Pirate Ship or ShipStation or Shippo or whatever to get your labels made. So as you can see, these are like some of the examples of other ways that you can use Koji to sell stuff online. We can do pop-up shop. Uh, this is also just a 5% fee per transaction. So the cool thing with this is instead of having multiple links for multiple products on your Koji, you can essentially just have a one picture that you, you upload a picture of you or someone in your band or someone else wearing some of your merch, holding some merch items, you know, here you can see there's like a purse or something. They can click on it and add it to their cart. And that is really cool. So they just click on whatever item they want in the picture. So it's a way of listing like all your stuff in one picture and selling it there. And you have a little online store just in a picture and you can make multiple ones of these and put them in your link in bio 
or you can just have one if you're trying to focus on one item. But that's a really cool way to, to get into the aspect of selling merch without having the development time of making your site, even though it's super easy nowadays with things like Shopify and Squarespace and whatever, it's still gonna take you a lot of time and it's gonna cost you a monthly fee. With Koji, you can get into it right away. So personally, I'm using Koji. If you go check out my Instagram or my TikTok, you'll find Koji links there as well. And if you wanna try it out for yourself, I have a link in the description that you can go make your account. Remember, it's entirely free. And if you send me a DM on Instagram with your Koji link, I'll check it out and I'll pick the best ones and I'll show them to my stories. Anyways, back to the video. All right, so now if we switch gears back into the talking about the whole shipping thing, um, at some point I mentioned that in Shopify, I had all the weights of my items. And whether you're using Shopify or using Koji or anything else, you're gonna need to know the, the weight when you order your, your label, right? And the way you do that is you just buy a, <laughs> a food scale, essentially. And I bought this dirt cheap, I'll put a thing on screen, there's a link in the description, um, a dirt cheap food scale. And it, I, I don't remember what it cost, I'll show it on screen though. And it, it's worked for years now. So use that, you can you can weigh everything individually. So your CDs, your merch items, your pack, your empty package with a label on it. And you can figure out what all these things weigh so that when you, you can save all this information in your shipping system or just keep an Excel spreadsheet of it. When you go to place your orders, you don't have to like weigh every package. You just know what everything weighs by itself, right? So you don't have to keep it out and keep doing this. You just, you already have done the work ahead of time. So as I mentioned earlier, I have other videos that cover how to make CDs, how to make merch items, and also how to do print on demand. And I made a little playlist right here that you can check out to see all of those videos. And if you want to see whatever YouTube recommends for my channel that you should watch, you can check out that video in the bottom. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next one. Bye.